Technologies that put less of a burden on our climate are incredibly important, specifically in the case of defense energy. The population continues to increase, our demand on energy continues to increase, and so the more that we can do here at home, the more secure that our future becomes. I'm here today at the White House as a part of the President's Initiative to recognize veterans who are working in clean energy and climate. I'm here today as a champion of climate change and veteran for advancing clean energy technology. We just know as veterans and as active duty to get the job done. Being a truck driver in Iraq and having to you know, be in these supply convoys and going out to the forward operating bases and realizing you know, every day when we're getting shot at is if they had solar generators that would save from me having to drive on the road every day. My service in the Army for 20 years, three things came out of that that serves me very well working in clean energy. Building teams, solving problems, and not sweating the small stuff is what military veterans do really well. And I've worked uh, both studying and participating in events for the last 10 years to create a conversation about defense energy. At the Department of Energy, uh, we are very, very attentive to the, to the risks posed by climate change. This summer, for instance, the president issued his climate action plan. That was a call to action with an all above approach to be able to get everybody at the table talking. When you talk about energy efficiency in the federal space, President Obama has continued to push and made it a priority. I have two kids, so I'm thinking about their future. So this is absolutely important. There's an amazing amount of opportunity inside clean energy to help not only Americans and our energy security, but really the whole world. Thank you again for your prior and your future service in serving our independence goals in so many different directions. So thank you, thank you very much.